Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. Today we will have a demo of iOS device setup on Windows machine, which we will need to take readings on the Aptim tool. So let's start with what all steps we need to connect the iOS device. So first step would be enabling developer mode option. Next would be connecting to iTunes. So for Aptim to get all the reports or any external tool to get all the reports from iOS device, we should enable developer mode. So let's see the process how we can enable developer mode. If we navigate to Aptim's help page, wherein there is an article which is displaying how to set up an iOS device. Here, if you see first option or first setting which has been asked to do is we have to enable developer mode. Okay, so for all the iOS devices which are running on iOS 16 and above, we will need developer mode to be enabled. Usually you will find this option below the privacy settings in developer mode. So privacy and security settings there we have developer mode option. So here if I just open my device and if we navigate to settings. I'll go to privacy and security. And here ideally under the security tab we should be able to see developer options. So in few of the devices with the latest OS version we won't be finding developer option under the security tabs. So what we have to do there is one more application which you can either install on Windows device or on iOS device which will help us enable the developer option through the tool settings. So the name of the tool is tenor share. So here if we see we just need to download this particular tool install it in the Windows or iOS device. So what I've done I have installed it here. And once you open it, you will be seeing your device connected and the options are present here. So in quick access tab, if you are not able to see developer mode, just edit it. By editing, you can remove other option and you can add the developer mode option here. So if you want to add maybe device accessibility control here, so you can remove real time screen and you can just add another option that is maybe one click phone mirror to computer so this particular option will be added here in this way you can add developer mode also just need to save this and ultimately it will be present here so now as we have to tag or we have to check whether the developer option is displayed or not if you see currently developer mode option is not displayed under security tag so i'll just click on developer mode i'll say open and now the tool is saying that developer mode entry has been displayed. Please proceed to the next step on our mobile device. Maybe if we just navigate back and we again navigate here. So you will see developer mode option is enabled now. So now you just have to enable this and we have to give a restart. So the device is restarted. And if we again navigate to privacy settings here, you will see the developer mode is in enable state now. Next step would be to connect the device to iTunes. Let's see how we can do the same. So first we'll have to download iTunes. The browser will just say iTunes download. The first official link we will click on it. As this is Windows system with 64 bit, I'll click on iTunes version for 64 bit and then we'll click on download. Once you click on download, the setup will start processing. Once the EX is downloaded, you can install as we do for other regular applications and iTunes will be downloaded and installed. So once you connect your device with iTunes, you will get trust prompt. So we have to trust the computer on which iTunes is installed and we have connected the device. So we'll just click on trust. Then we have to give the password. And the device will be trusted. 
also at our PC's end, we'll have to allow this. So we'll click on continue. Once you click on continue, we'll be giving computer access to retrieve all the data from the device or sync the data on the device and automatically the device will be configured on computer. So once the device is trusted, we'll get this particular option. So we'll just continue here. First, we'll have to set our device with uh, iTunes. That is what we are continuing here. This is the license agreement. So we'll just here we'll click on continue. And now we will start the sync. So we won't encrypt it for now or we can just ignore it and we'll start so that our device will be synced. So now if you see the device is synced as well and it is giving us the details about the device here. So now let's launch Aptim tool as we have already connected with iTunes. We'll start a new test and wait for our device to be detected. So our device is detected successfully. We'll click on next so that all the list of applications present in the device are loaded. Here, let's select Zomato. We'll click on next. We'll select a 10 minute session. And here, let's give demo test Zomato. And we'll click launch app automatically. Will be set to on. So let's start this. And here I'll just launch the application as well. So this is my mobile screen. So Zomato app has launched successfully. Now as a part of this test, obviously the recording has been started. Devices, we can just go ahead and make whatever test case we have to do. So if I want to navigate through this particular PISA option, Right, so I'll just go through all the variants, veg, paneer, margarita, and obviously the screen is loading in the back end, right? So there are some API calls made, and UI and API both are getting loaded. We'll just navigate through more options, and yes, this would be our scenario, okay, to navigate through all the options which are present, right? Now, if we want to end this session, so this particular session is of maybe 52 seconds. We'll just click on end session. Now, obviously, Aptim will hold or we should obviously keep our device connected to the computer so that Aptim will be collecting all the logs. And once the data is gathered, it will present a report where we can analyze our scenario. So we'll just hold till the time data is gathered. So now the data is already gathered and the session report is getting created. So now the session report is created for demo test Zomato. So we just can open the local report here. And yeah, the report is properly displayed. So as this was a very generic scenario which we performed, obviously everything which is mapped, like you can check what all recording was done or how the scenario was performed here itself. And the readings or the observation with respect to all the items which are present here will be displayed. So we have uh, already discussed with respect to how we need to read the report. We can go through our previous sessions and similarly, it can be done over here as well. So that was the process of connecting an iOS device on Windows machine and taking observations through Aptim tool. Stay tuned for more information regarding different performance tools. Don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel. Hope this session was useful. Thank you.